I thought I'd just make you a quick video today. Um, I painted some paper yesterday afternoon. I put it on Instagram and somebody put a comment on my blog, I think. Um, I know who it was. Um, I can't wait to see what you do with the paper that you put on Instagram. And that kind of made me think, oh, wow, well, I hope she don't think I'm going to do something amazing with it. This is the paper. Um, there's another bit here. I've cut some of it off. Um, and I kind of thought, <laughs> don't get too excited because I'm literally just going to stick it in my book. But because she said that, I thought, oh, maybe I should do a bit more with it. Um, anyway, I'm not like, I know the person really well and I don't mind that she said that at all. So what I thought was, I have cut some of it. I've got it here, this is gonna be, I don't really know if I've got anything done properly today. So I've cut one small piece there and that's like an off cut from the end of there, which I'll keep. And there's another piece there. Um, so what I thought was my initial intention there's different amounts in all of these little books and I'm not going to fill every page that would I'd have to charge about eight thousand pounds for them if I filled every page it'd take forever but what I thought was I was initially just going to do that because it adds interest for a page and then I thought oh and she's right I should do more than that with it actually I feel like I should anyway so what I've done is I print some of my own work out sometimes and this is like pictures of my own work that I print out and I've cut some of these up and I'm thinking maybe I could do that and then I'm thinking no so I'm thinking get some fabric going on woman this is about embroidery so I've got off cuts I keep every little scrap um, I've got off cuts here so I'm, I really like this one actually so I'm wondering if that might be nice there with that at the side of it it would wouldn't it but then what I'm thinking is I don't know which book to put it in because they've all got different amounts of stuff in them some have got more in than others um, they've all got one of these dangly things in but like this one Yeah, no, I mean, so I think there's a couple that have hardly got anything in. Um, no, I'll put it in this one because this is the one I've got here. So what I'll do with that then, I need to trim it a bit at the top. Um, I have got scissors, they're over there just a bit. It's a proper production line going on here. I've got stuff all over the place. No, I don't want to lose that hole really. It doesn't matter if it dangles down the bottom a little bit. So if I just trim, if you can hear that noise, it's been there, it's been there. And those of you who do my classes will know that I get very traumatised on been there. Right, it's so the first, oh, I haven't got any paper scissors. I've got a Stanley knife, so I'll cut it with a Stanley knife. How's that for innovation? <coughs> Cutting double excuse me cutting double sided tape with a standing knife without losing your finger oh, there's a challenge I'd be alright on a desert island me I think apart from the creepy crawlers um, I think I'd be fine now I struggle actually to pick the back off this it's like some double sided tape has a lip that makes it easier to get hold of it, but that one doesn't. So if I put that in there it's straight, I can tell at the bottom there. And then get that. See now that looks better, doesn't it? So thank you for that comment. Um, you know who you are. Sewing needles again behind me. Um, because it did make me think, don't just go around sticking in pages, Karen. a bit of effort in woman what's wrong with you so now I'll just get a little bit of this so what's going on here I'm going to France a week on Sunday so I have to be finished by a week on Saturday I have to go away for the day tomorrow I'm away Saturday most of this coming Saturday so I'm gonna have to really work hard on the days that I'm here. I'm just going to tie this in 
um, really work hard on the days that I'm here. In fact, I do think next week I'm going to have a couple of very late nights. And I'll show you the reason for that in a second. Again, if you do my classes, you'll know why that is. Um, and I'm not going to give anything away. I'm just going to share something with everybody else. Let me cut this off. Oh, I think I need some new embroidery scissors. Um, tie that in and that's enough um, and how long is this video I can't see that white's blinding me just let me stand up oh six minutes you all be falling asleep because I haven't finished yet I should maybe go and get a life support machine because oh, I'm liable to keep you talking right just let me put this away and then I'll uh, So, I'll keep these safe, uh, I'll just leave them there for now. So that uh, little page didn't really take any time at all, did it? Um, so this one is filling up nicely actually. Um, that's the first page. And then nothing, nothing. A little bit of stitching there and a bit of doodling. That with the dangle. Doodling again. Thing with a suffolk puff and that. And I will also go through and where the pages are empty, I will stick little pictures in and little bits of graph paper. I think I've done that in one of them already. Like little bits of graph paper like that. So people can write on it if they want to. Um, so they're all at different stages of completion, but that's the one that I've done today. I do like that actually. Getting hard to close them and get them to stay flat. So I'm doing the work, a workshop in France, and it's a workshop about embroidering on lace cloth. Now I do that in all my online classes, um, all of them. Um, but in my online classes, everyone makes their own lace cloth. So for this French thing, I've got about twenty pieces, and this is where I'm up to now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I've got number ten on the go. So I'm getting there, and I've got like, I can definitely say I've got five solid days to make another ten of them, and that's in the daytime. In the evening, I do stuff like little bits of hand sewing. So in the daytime, if I put a couple of nights in, I'm, like late nights, I'm definitely going to get done. So that's why I'm a bit up to my eyes and there's stuff all over this room anyway so that's what I'm doing if you think I'm being lazy I'm not right so that's it and there's my little book all right <laughs> 